Hello, welcome back to TCG Dreamland. We're opening another Lord of the Rings Collector Booster Special Edition. Looking for serialized cards. So it's been a little over a month. It's been actually almost like a month and a half, right? Since this actually released. So, unfortunately, I'm only doing one box because unlike March of the Machine and Brothers War, these boxes are kind of expensive, and the singles are actually not selling super well. So, just one of these, but still gives us a chance at a serialized card. So, these packs are fun to open. There's like tons of foils, tons of uh, cool stuff. There's the borderless poster cards, which are not selling as well as I expected them to, but that's all right. <laughs> all right, Council's Deliberation. All right, Planes. So, the serialized cards will be in the back half, unlike the uh, the regular edition of Lord of the Rings, where the soul rings are in the front part of the pack. Ooh! Call of the Ring. In Surge. Cool. The Dead Marshes. Urborg, Tomb of Yog Moth. That's a good card. That is a good card there. All right, starting off with some good stuff. Surge Foil, Mythic Land. So a little bit quicker through the first half of the pack. I mean, there's still some good stuff you can get. Some of those scrolls and foil are not bad. Last March of the Ents. That was a mythic. Nice. Flame of Anor. Foil. Galadrim Brigade. Flowering of the White Tree. Started off strong and then fell very quickly. Now, the showcase surge foils are just not great. People do not like those showcases very much and even in surge foil they're not great money wise that is so that was kind of unfortunate finding that out when the set released like people weren't wanting the sh the surge foil showcases any more than the non-foil showcases people just don't like those particular showcases i guess I mean, the scrolls are really cool. These are way cooler. I would choose one of these over one of those other showcases, but, you know, Shagrat, Surge, Path of the Dead. Ooh, a Cavern of Souls. That's a good one. So this is a Cavern of Souls Surge foil. Very nice. I put that one up there, actually. I should put this one up there, too. Those are good cards. All right, and then an Explorer in the Silver Foil. Arwen's Gift. Shire Scarecrow. Ooh, a Nazgul. The Nazguls are good. Is that foil? It is foil. Some of the Silver Foils can be a little bit too hard to tell that they're foil sometimes. You have to catch them in the light just right. Minas Tirith, not bad. Merkwood Trapper. Galadriel, Light of Valinor. That is super cool. Elf Noble, Galadriel, very nice. King of the Oathbreakers. I pulled one of these in the first box, I think. Mariadoc Brandybuck, Showcase Surge. Pact of Negation. That card's actually pretty good. Right, Lash of the Balrog. The Grey Havens. Bill the Pony. That's funny. Bill the Pony. 
All right, Elven Chorus, Hugh the Entwood, Felbeast Shriek, Sharky, Frodo Baggins, Showcase, there we go, Anduril, Flame of the West. So this could have been serialized, but it's not. I'll put it up there anyway. Yeah, those borderless poster cards, there's only two per box. And I mean, they're not terrible, but considering how expensive these boxes are, you'd think they'd be worth more. But the I think the problem is Wizards prints so many of these that there's the supply is so huge that even though there's only two per box, that there's still hundreds of them on the open market, so... Tends to be a problem when it seems rare on the surface, but it isn't actually rare because Wizards prints hundreds of thousands of booster boxes for every set. Eagle of Deliverance, Forge Anew, in Surge, that's cool. Mary, Showcase Surge, not great. Myriad Landscape, non-foil. All right, second half of the box, whoops. Gandalf Sanction, cool. All right, Dreadful as the Storm. Samwise the Stouthearted. Quick Beam. All right, the good stuff now. Cavern Horde Dragon. Cool. Sauron's Ransom. Arboreal Alliance. Mithril Coat. Very cool. Surge Foil Mithril Coat. Samwise the Stouthearted. Showcase Surge. Oh, there's a non-foil poster card. That's actually my first non-foil one of those. I didn't even realize there were non-foil ones until I was like uploading cards for sale because my first box I opened, the only other box I've opened before this one, had two foil poster cards and no non-foils. I just assumed they were all foil, but now we finally got one that's not. So Hugh the Entwood. I think that one is not good. <laughs> it's all right, though. Rise of the Witch King. A Gandalf Sanction. Now the goods. Banquet Guests. Too greedily, too deep. Interesting. Picture of the Balrog. Rally the Galadrim. The Watcher in the Water. Cool. It's a cool card. Cool creature. Not worth much. Miss of Lorien. Cool, cool. All right. Souls Attendant. The Bath Song. All right. Call of the Ring. That time in just the scrolls. Andoral. Equipment, nice. Display of Power. Surge. Isengard. That is Bosaiju, who shelters all in Surge Foil. Very nice. Elvish Harbinger. All right, so something I want to discuss. This. So apparently, I was looking at these. The extended art is very cheap. The extended foil, however, I guess people were, like, buying these up. The In, in the original Lord of the Rings not special edition, I guess the extended art foils were, like, really rare, and so people were buying them up, and this card in extended foil was like $60 or something. And then these started coming out 
in the special edition, the surge foils. And I guess the surge foils aren't as rare. And so they're selling for like a few bucks. So my question is, are the extended art foils going to come down in price? Or once the surge foils, the extended art surge foils, once the, you know, the, uh, the backlog, the, uh, the huge stock of them, the huge supply of them gets bought out, are those also going to go up super high? That is my question for you guys. And please answer that because I want to know if I should be buying these up for like $4 or whatever they are now. And they're going to go up to like $40 or is that just a thing that happened and that's and now these are just going to be cheap and the extended foils are going to come down to whatever these sell for now or whatever's going on there. So let me know. Ooh, Shelob. Cool. And Gollum. Theoden. Strength Restored in silver foil that is kenrith the return king interesting all right we have two packs left we have gotten two poster cards but i don't know if the serialized one replaces one of those or not so we could still be getting a serialized card shire sheriff all right, Sting, very nice. Radagast, Riders of the Mark, Horn of the Mark, very nice. Gimli's Reckless Might, Tempt with Discovery, Silver Foil. All right, last pack. Snarling Warg. Saruman's Trickery. Theoden. All right. Mount Doom. Cool. Boromir. Warden of the Tower. Next we've got Sorceress Squall. Radagast the Brown. In Surge. Aragorn Showcase Surge. Souls Attendant. Womp womp. All right, so there you have it. Unfortunately, we did not get a serialized card. So, I think this was the fourth, right? Yeah, this was our last serialized card hunt. We did still get some good stuff. Surge Foil, Cavern of Souls, Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth, Beside You, all in Surge Foil. Here's our poster cards for this box. All right, so thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. What's coming up next? I'm not sure what's coming out next. Subscribe and you'll see what's coming out next. <laughs> Good stuff is in store, I promise. I open every set of Magic the Gathering that comes out, so there's good stuff in store. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.